Hey guys, welcome back. My goal for today is to get you guys inspired or motivated to clean and organize. This is part three of an all day clean with me. So if you haven't already watched part one and two, go ahead and pause the video now and go check those out. Today we are giving the kitchen a good cleaning after a long day of multiple meal making and some baby food prep. I hope you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave comments below and don't forget to subscribe. First, I start out by getting rid of all the clutter and putting the dishes in the sink and getting the counters cleared off. I just feel like it gives me a clean slate to start. When I look around and see how messy it really is, it can be a little terrifying, but I feel like if I get it all organized, I can tackle the cleaning a lot easier. I really find cleaning to be therapeutic for me and I'm sure some of you can relate. Being a new mom, adjusting to my new roles, and just trying to balance it all, it can be really overwhelming. And I found that a clean home keeps a clean mind. Some days I can't find the energy to clean like this, I'll be honest, but I do know when I am up for cleaning, I think about how great it'll feel to have a clean home and that's just what keeps me going. Perfect. In my kitchen, I use Mrs. Meyer's Multi-Surface Cleaning Spray. I add a little bit of vinegar and water to clean my countertops. Um, I'll put the exact measurements I use in the description box below. I love Mrs. Meyer's. I believe right now I have the peony scent in the bottle. Uh, I mix it all in an empty spray bottle, but I love that one. It is my favorite. If you guys use Mrs. Meyer's products, let me know what your favorite is.
On evenings when me and my husband are both home, I usually get the kitchen cleaned up while he's giving Luke a bath and putting him to bed. I usually turn on some TV or music, get the Roomba going, and dive in. Let me know what you guys like to listen to in the comments below. Okay, so on this particular night, I did run out of my wood floor cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I mix it up. First, I take an empty spray bottle and fill it about a quarter of the way with vinegar. I don't measure it out, I just kind of eyeball it. Then I fill the rest of the bottle up with previously boiled water. Then I add about 10 drops of peppermint oil and 10 drops of lemon oil. Mix it up and I spray that on the, uh, directly onto the wood floors and mop it up and it works great and it's safe for pets and babies. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.